Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to share an information about how to prepare for an MCAT. Just for information, I gave the MCAT uh, two weeks back. I'm expecting my result in next two week. Um, very tough times, but um, just wanted to tell you before it blows out of my mind how to prepare for an MCAT. This is my second time giving an MCAT test, and this time there was a lot of game changers. The way I give the test, the way I prepare for the test and i definitely want to see your own experience i'm going to definitely talk if you want like and you can put in the comment section and i can talk about how to prepare for the car section how to save time um how i can prepare or anything like that just throw, throw me detail if i can i'll upload a video um so the first thing i want to tell you about mcat official exam guide this book um it's not I'm not recommending recommending you, but I definitely um, want to tell you it's out there in the market. It's not going to cost you more than twenty dollars or something like that. If you can, if not, that's fine. That's not. It's not a big deal. The reason this book is very critical is uh, for me, especially, was preempting the test. When you read through each of the section, it tells you from the writer perspective. The writer means those people who write the MCAT test. So their perspective, like how they want to test you, how what they are looking at you, like what are the aptitude and attitude level or perspective level they want on the test. And that's very important. If you're a very analytical guy, you want to know very thorough, thoroughly about the test, this is the book. If you're a guy just like, you know, you want to push it through, it might not be for you. But um, depending upon what kind of person you are, and it definitely helped me a lot. So I just wanted to put it out there. It will definitely help more in the course and biology section. Second thing is um, MCAT flashcards. This this is definitely a boost section. For me, it was first of all, I spent a lot of time in paragraphs because I want to read a Torah concept, which is not a good idea for the MCAT, but I spent a little bit more than usual. So that means for the three sections, physical science section, now, psychology section and the biological science section, I need to put less time on the independent section. And this definitely helped me a lot. The flash card not going to, not only going to hit you the independent questions, but it's going to help you on bits and pieces of the paragraph section too. And the reason this flash card is so awesome is because it gonna, you're going to read the question and you're gonna hit the basic concept of it and they're gonna be option and you can even read those options on your free time and that will help you what kind of question you are expecting um, you can look at those options and you can see the way they explain it they it's all about this test is looking from their perspective like you know how they want you to see it and you actually getting adapted to the situation like in their way of seeing things that's all um, it's going to cost you like $20 or something like that, $15, $15, not more than that. So definitely something recommended. And on the side note, I just want to mention, you can make these kind of class card, keep piling them. And a week before the test, like, and you can just keep tossing them around, like, you know, seeing whether you still retain those concepts or not. I just made on my own from the library, just got a few papers and it definitely um, help me like I still retain all the information at the end of the test not recommended but it's good to have it uh, this have I, I'm not a flash card guy but this definitely helped me a lot third and most important part the syllabus the reason is that I didn't know it before I prepared for the MCAT test and if you're the first time or you're still in the college you don't have time you're in the finals or like you know whatever Short time, better preparation, more organized and a structured way of giving the test, MCAT syllabus. There is a you can go on the AMC website, prepare for MCAT section, and then there will you will see learn more about the test. You can see the PDF file, you can download it, and you can hit all the concept that they're gonna ask you. Literally, all. Yeah, there are gonna be some twists and turns, but if you stick to that. I can guarantee you it's going to cover 90% of the concept. So, so these three things in the summary, um, the official guide, exam guide, the official MCAT exam guide, 
It depends upon what kind of person you are. Flashcards recommended. He gonna hit the big concepts. Third, M preparation of MCAT by using syllabus. Uh, it's gonna save a lot of time, and I hope it helped you. In future, if you want me to share anything regarding my experience with the MCAT, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you.